Since 1979, Global Diving and Salvage has been a leading provider of subsea services and infrastructure support through three core service lines, marine construction, casualty response, and offshore support services. Our expertise lies in solving potentially costly problems where it appears there is no immediate solution by using our broad knowledge base and experience to come up with the right solution to tackle that challenge. We are unique in that we can perform any size and scope of casualty response project, whether it's a small private vessel that needs to be salvaged in one of our regional offices, all the way up to an international wreck removal or a more traditional salvage effort on an international market. The Palmyra project was a wreck removal project, removing three wrecks in a remote location a thousand miles south of the Hawaiian Islands. Beginning in 2005, scientists began recognizing as the shipwrecks were degrading, they were leaching nutrients into the water, which was feeding the explosive growth of invasive species. At Palmyra, the anemone-like coralomorph was reproducing exponentially with this nutrient enrichment, and as it reproduced, it attacks and smothers the near pristine coral reefs. Coralomorph are primitive, small, disc-shaped animals that were spreading across Palmyra's western terrace at speeds of up to 250 meters per year. As it advanced, killing healthy coral colonies, it degraded habitat and killed other species. Safely removing the wrecks in the most cost-effective and efficient way was the priority, but it was equally necessary to remove them without impacting the fragile coral reef ecosystem surrounding the wrecks. Susan White of the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service said, Of all the bids put forward, the technical approach from Global was by far the most realistic and most environmentally friendly approach and the most feasible. We kind of dismissed some of the heavy lift options that we were looking at and went with kind of a more strategic surgical approach that wouldn't disturb the coral at all. Our naval architect actually designed these shallow draft vessels to move this material out and they were our own custom design specifically for that project. I think the most important part of this project was planning. There was no ability to get uh, material out there that we didn't bring with us. It is a common joke that there is no Home Depot or 7-Eleven around the corner. If your $2 hose clamp breaks, it can stop a multi-million dollar project. To be able to go into a situation where you've had two men that went out and spent three days swimming around and come back and tell you the conditions out there, to be able to come up with a plan to design and make the equipment necessary to go do that plan, and then to go actually do it and not have any impact to the coral reef is pretty amazing. We felt like the Fish and Wildlife Service would probably like to see the material recycled as opposed to just being dumped somewhere else in the ocean. So as part of our initial proposal, we offered to bring it all the way back and uh, turn it in for recycling in Long Beach. Our greatest achievement in that project was the fact that nobody got hurt, and that was really our biggest concern too, because um, the closest hospital was a thousand miles away. In the marine salvage industry, I think that Global stands alone as a company who is truly a family and treats their employees as family, and it fosters a, an element of respect and uh, trust and empowers people to go do their work knowing that they have everybody behind them. In the end, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service project manager, Susan White, had this to say. It was one of those projects that, as a manager, I will remember for the rest of my life. It was an inspiring team of dedicated, hardworking people who came together from around the country to these two little uninhabited atolls in the middle of the Pacific to restore an ecosystem which will help keep these atolls as healthy as possible for future generations to learn from and to enjoy. A national monument and wildlife refuge, Palmyra Atoll encompasses some of the last remaining near pristine reef environment on Earth, with over 176 species of hard coral and 418 species of reef fish. This was a high visibility, technically complex operation. It's very simple for someone to say, go get that boat out of there. It's a very different animal to be able to go in there and do it without causing any further environmental damage. Global Diving and Salvage understands that a job well done is accomplished by adaptability and resourcefulness. If you need help with a project in marine construction, casualty response, or offshore support, you can be confident that Global will do it right. For more information, go to our website or contact us today.